In today's video, we will explore the tragic story of the third-class passengers of the Titanic, highlighting the class divisions and hierarchy that existed on board. We will analyze the opulence of the first class and the simpler amenities of the third class, as well as the camaraderie and diverse experiences of the third class passengers. We will delve into the chaos and desperation that engulfed the ship when it sank, with the inadequate number of lifeboats and inconsistent implementation of the Women and Children First protocol. We will also address the stories of the survivors and the aftermath of the disaster, as well as the legends and myths surrounding the Titanic. The birth of the Leviathan, the construction of the Titanic. The Titanic was built with the purpose of providing the most opulent transatlantic journey possible, focusing on luxury and size rather than speed. The ship went from being the Fall 101 to the Titanic, a symbol of the unrelenting ambition of the time. The Titanic represented unparalleled opulence in the golden age of transatlantic travel, with its grand staircase, luxurious dining room, and various recreational facilities. First-class passengers enjoyed a world of grandeur and decadence, unaware of the tragic fate that awaited them. The Titanic was a floating microcosm of the Edwardian elite lifestyle, a refuge of pleasure, comfort, and opulence. Hopes and dreams below deck. The story of third-class passengers on the Titanic. These humble passengers, hopeful for a new life, had modest accommodations far removed from the luxury of the upper classes. While the White Star Line made efforts to provide better conditions for these less affluent passengers, the facilities and amenities remained, at best, modest. However, there was a sense of camaraderie among third-class passengers as they gathered in the common room to listen to music and laugh. The meals served on board showcased the multicultural tapestry of the third-class passengers, offering a wide range of dishes. Despite the challenges of the ship's labyrinthine design and language barriers, many considered the journey aboard the Titanic to be an exciting adventure, especially for children who were allowed to explore parts of the ship that were off-limits to adults. However, the reality of their situation became evident during the disaster, as those below deck took longer to be alerted and struggled to navigate the chaotic paths to safety. Tragically, some families, like the Goodwins, were lost in the icy depths. These people aboard the Titanic brought the ship to life with their intriguing stories resonating throughout history. Souls of the Sea – Intriguing Personalities Aboard the Titanic Let's talk a bit about the third-class passengers of the Titanic who dreamed of a new life in the United States. One such passenger was Annie Kelly, a 19-year-old Irish woman traveling to the United States to work as a domestic servant. Their dreams and personal ambitions remind us of the countless hopes on board the ill-fated ship. There were also mysterious figures like J.P. Morgan, the American financier, who was supposed to be on board but canceled at the last minute, leaving behind much speculation and intrigue. Despite lives saved and lost, the legacy of the Titanic cannot be ignored as it became a catalyst for significant improvements in maritime safety. Harold Bride, one of the wireless operators who survived the disaster, played a significant role in advocating for wireless communication in emergency situations, leading to the need for 24-hour radio guards on ships. The sinking of the Titanic was a floating time capsule that unraveled everyday life on the ship and its mix of mundane routines and grand opulence. From morning routines marked by wake-up calls to breakfast, the experience varied between the luxurious dining rooms of first class and the communal dining areas of third class. Passengers engaged in physical activities like exercise in the state-of-the-art first class gym, offering a space for passengers' energy and recreation. The routine continued with afternoon strolls on the promenade for elegantly dressed ladies, while gentlemen enjoyed various activities on deck. From the depths to the spotlight the Titanic's encounter with destiny. During the journey, each passenger could enjoy different experiences on the Titanic. While first-class passengers enjoyed luxurious activities, such as cigar conversations, card games, and elaborate dinners, third-class passengers had simpler dining options, but still found moments of joy through music and dancing in common areas. As the night progressed, the crew continued their duties while most passengers retired to their cabins. However, the quiet night took a turn when the ship struck an iceberg, causing significant damage to the hull. The crew realized the gravity of the situation, and it became clear that the supposedly unsinkable ship was doomed. As the ship began to sink, confusion ensued, and the inadequate number of lifeboats became evident. 
The women and children first rule was interpreted differently by different parties, causing further chaos. Throughout this, the ship's orchestra played music in an attempt to calm the passengers. In the arms of the Atlantic, the Titanic's fateful encounter. In this section, we will explore the harrowing experiences of the third-class passengers aboard the Titanic. When the ship sank into the icy depths of the Atlantic, chaos and desperation filled the decks. The insufficient number of lifeboats on the ship meant that many were left without a means of escape. The Women and Children First protocol was inconsistently implemented, leading to confusion among the crew and passengers. Some lifeboats were launched with far fewer occupants than their capacity allowed, while others were divided by tension and disagreements among survivors. The stories of the lifeboats paint a tapestry of human emotions, courage and despair, showcasing the tragic events that unfolded on that fateful night. Echoes from the ocean, heart-wrenching stories of the survivors of the wreck. Violet Jessup, a stewardess who had previously survived another ship collision, found herself caring for a baby in a lifeboat. However, after being rescued by the Carpathia, she encountered a woman who claimed to be the baby's mother and took the child back. Another infamous figure, J. Bruce Ismay, the managing director of the White Star Line, was harshly criticized for saving himself while others perished. Despite testifying in both American and British inquiries, his reputation remained tarnished. On a more uplifting note, Molly Brown, a first-class passenger, played a crucial role in encouraging and supporting others in her lifeboat. Ruth Becker, a young girl who was separated from her family, also survived and lived a fulfilling life as a teacher. The legacy of the Titanic has been shrouded in myths and mysteries, such as its description as unsinkable and rumors involving the presence of an Egyptian artifact. Beyond the Iceberg, the myths and mysteries of the Titanic. To this day, there are various legends and myths surrounding the third-class passengers of the Titanic. Mention is made of the prophetic writings of journalist Steve, who died in the disaster, and the rumored bravery of the Titanic's musicians. Another legend involves the second officer, David Blair, who accidentally took the key to the crow's nest locker, which possibly contained binoculars that could have detected the iceberg in time. Much is said about the myth surrounding the alleged mirrored hull number of the ship, which supposedly read, No Pope, when it was actually 401. The aftermath of the tragedy led to investigations seeking to uncover the reasons behind the disaster ultimately leading to significant changes in maritime safety regulations, including the formation of the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea in 1914. In the shadow of the iceberg, the aftermath of the Titanic tragedy. We will analyze the aftermath of the Titanic disaster and the efforts to locate and explore the wreckage. The public's reaction against J. Bruce Ismay, the director of the White Star Line, for saving himself while the ship was sinking. It also highlights the change in communication codes from CQD to SOS, prompted by the tragedy. The Titanic was rediscovered in 1985 by Robert Ballard, an officer and oceanographer. Ballard's determination and pioneering spirit led to the successful location of the wreckage, found approximately 12,500 feet below the surface. The exploration revealed that the ship had broken into two sections. The ethical debate surrounding the alteration of the site is discussed, with Ballard initially advocating for its preservation as a maritime monument. However, subsequent expeditions recovered artifacts and held exhibitions, generating controversy. The transcript concludes by noting the ongoing deterioration of the Titanic due to the growth of rusticles and predicts that by 2040, little will remain of the once mighty ship. Despite its decay, the Titanic continues to captivate explorers and researchers, with recent expeditions emphasizing the need for respectful preservation and exploration. The Titanic in History, Eternity and Immortality. The tragedy of the Titanic has left a lasting impact on our cultural consciousness. The film Titanic, directed by James Cameron, stands out as a prominent example of how the story continues to inspire and captivate the public. The disaster has also been immortalized in literature, with countless books recounting the ship's final hours. Additionally, several cities around the world have built monuments and museums dedicated to the Titanic, preserving its memory and offering visitors a tangible connection to those who were on board. Monuments such as the Titanic Museum in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and the Titanic Attraction Museum in Tennessee play a crucial role in honoring the victims and telling the ship's story. 
Ultimately, the transcript suggests that the story of the Titanic is not only recorded in historical records, but also etched into our collective consciousness, immortalized through art, literature, film, and numerous monuments. From the depth to the spotlight, the cultural rebirth of the Titanic and its eternal monuments. The grandeur and tragedy of the Titanic, as well as the indomitable human spirit that refused to sink, will forever be etched in history. Even today, we can continue to learn from the lessons of the Titanic, not only in the construction of future ships, but also in the essence of our humanity. Despite the fading echoes of its loss in history, the Titanic continues to resonate, whispering its story to those willing to listen and reminding us of the depth of our courage and the strength of our collective memory.